about 25 different people who all head up different areas from organising all the tentage that we put up, uh, the launches that we run, the 80 plus umpires that we have to support the regatta over the three days, um, through to those people that organise the shop, selling our merchandise, um, and then all the press and PR that we do throughout the year to promote the regatta as well as working with our sponsors to make sure that they stay on board but also get involved after being our partners. And could you tell me a bit about your own background in drawing and how that sort of has influenced you to want to, to put events on like this? Um, I started rowing at university, at Southampton University, uh, back in the uh, 1984 was the first time I lost the boat. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it, having tried lots of different sports at school. I didn't really uh, connect with balls and sticks and uh, that type of thing. So once I found rowing, I found something that I really enjoyed. And I got a lot out of it, so I rode for Great Britain for 11 years, all through the 90s, and I won Britain's first um, Olympic rowing medal with Catherine Granger and some others back at Sydney Olympics, and had a really, really great experience of rowing, and having seen women's rowing come from something that was tiny, really, through to entries of over 3,000 in some of our events, like we have the Henley River, Women's um, Eights Henley River. So when I was approached by Di Graham, who was chairman of Henley Women's Regatta three years ago, to take over the chairmanship, I very foolishly said no. Uh, said yes, actually. No, I said yes. Um, the reason being that um, I really felt that it was time for me to put something back into women's rowing. And Henley Women's Regatta is the pinnacle event. It's the regatta that all women aim to win at. And it's what they're training all year to do. Um, they'll do other events, but they're all the run up to towards winning the Henley Women's. So um, it's really a real privilege to be the chairman. And uh, I had, I've realised over the last two to three years exactly how much is involved and how many people give their time. We have over 100 volunteers, including the committee that, that support the running of the regatta. And last year we had an entry of 1,600, over 1,600 women, which was a fantastic biggest ever. A third of that were juniors, so that's why it's so great to hear the girls talking today about why they love rowing and how they really enjoy racing and how they got into it, because it really is on, on, on the rise, the actual number of junior women that are rowing, and it's great to see so many of them compete with many women, so a third of our entry is, is, is actually junior women as well. Okay, and obviously it's always going to have comparisons drawn to the Royal Regatta. Yeah. How do you how do you get away how do you get around that? Um, they're great partners of ours, so we couldn't stage the regatta without the support of Henley Royal Regatta and the stewards. So we use the same course, so we finish early. So um, being able to use the course and, and all the booms that they lay out and working with them, they're very very supportive of, of Henley women and have always been great partners with us. Um, how we differ? We're very different, actually. Um, obviously, they are a five-day event. We're a three-day event. Um, they stage events um, which cover all spectrum of, of rowing. Um, what we tend to do is we tend to try and create a pathway. So we'll offer a variation of women's junior events all the way through up to senior events as well and, and international events. Um, so we offer more of a pathway. So although we offer more events, it creates a pathway for the girls that we've just spoken to today to compete all the way through until until they retire from it. Um, 